Ron Goodall from FightHype.com. I'm here with Henry Garcia. How's it going? Hey, I'm doing great, man. Um, first and foremost, uh, I wanted to talk about this week. We have uh, Frank Sanchez is going to fight Joey DeVaco. It's, uh, it's a big step up fight in, um, early in his career. And we're going to have a lot of support from you. And uh, you're going to be in the corner for this, correct? That's right. That's right. I mean, you know, we feel that we're ready for Joey. Um, you know, most people think that it's too early. He basically thought that it's too early for him, but we disagree. We know that Frank is ready, and um, he's going to put on a great performance. Now, um, seeing the fact that you know Frank has a, a great amateur background, and he decided to join a strong stable, a strong team of guys like yourself, um, can we talk how you guys all came together and how you guys all met up? Well, we found out about him when he was in Miami. You know, there was, you know, we're going back and forth that he wanted to uh, switch over. And since we are currently with the Canelo team, yep. uh, we decided, you know what, uh, we don't have a heavyweight around. <laughs> so <laughs> why don't we take interest on Frank Sanchez? Because Frank Sanchez, we heard a lot of good things. He has a good amateur background. He's from Cuba. And uh, we also found out that he's got some speed and some power. And when you tell us that, it's almost um, an open sesame. It's an open door, you know, invitation. Now, you know, that state was so strong, you guys just don't take anybody, you know, from you and Eddie Reynoso. And, uh, you have to, you have to have something special, you know. Uh, you have to have either, you know, the knowledge, a good IQ. You have to have good pedigree, you know, because we're not here taking backward steps you know we're moving forward with everything you know we've got a good stable right now we've got Oscar Valdez we've got um, Julio Cesar Martinez we've got Neddy you know like Pantera. we got Ryan my son you know you, most people already know um, Sean Garcia we've got Lawrence King Santos Ortega so we are building up you know Canelo is, is the one that's leading everything you know here and I mean who else but Canelo it just leads everything and we're just so happy that we're we're doing this and, and I, I guess I wanted to um, ask a couple questions on your background and kind of like yeah. the, the father-son dynamic and yeah. what, how did you I guess did you come in boxing because of your son or like um, did you have a little boxing background and yeah my brother and I Sergio Garcia we started off in Chicago we're originally from Chicago and um, you know a guy came up to me and said hey do you want to make some money and I said of course what do I have to do and he's <laughs> like well you have to box and I'm like hey okay I'll do that I said but can I ask my brother you know because he's a, he's also a boxer you know and at that time my brother was boxing so I've always supported him but when you talk about wanting to make some money back in the day you're not going to say no. <laughs> so I took on the invitation. I said, let's do it. I ran over to the house. I took my brother. I asked him, I said, hey, man, you want to make some money? Of course, he said, yes. <laughs> he goes, I said, okay, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to box. And we went to this venue that they had these white tables, the chandeliers, and there was a boxing ring there. And I'm thinking, hey, I wonder what's going to happen over there. <laughs> and the guy said, what are you talking about? That's where you guys are going to fight. I was like, oh, shoot, okay, okay. <laughs> And that's how it all started, man. So we've just been in this for a while, but I owe it all to my brother, Sergio. And, and yeah. Oh, no, what are you going to say? I, I owe it all to my brother, Sergio, because he's the one who, who, who started everything, and he's the one that basically gave Ryan his foundation. And that's key, and that's something that I want to tell everybody. My brother is the one who started my son, gave him the foundation. From that point, I took over. And then from from the amateur days, from the tournaments, and it was all it was all me. And then all the nationals that he won, hey, you know. And then the early pro career, I uh, I stopped being his main trainer when he was 12 and 0 with 11 KOs as a professional. Mm. And then we decided to um, uh, to join forces with Canelo team, which I feel that we made the best move ever. Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> we, we can say uh, no to work with a you know, right. know so Well, we we wanted to take. You know, into a higher level, and we decided why wait four years for all this to happen. Sometimes you have to grab something that's special so that you can get there a lot quicker. Now, I, I know there's some parents, obviously, they're, yeah. they're I wouldn't say as supportive, but they're nervous, yeah. you know, and seeing that you've had experience and you've done some boxing yeah. and you know what it's like. 
was it your son that came to you and said he wanted to do it, or was it something you, you put him in and he ended up liking? Or well, Ryan started off as a baseball player actually, mm-hmm. and his teammates weren't that very good. So they came in fourth place, and he was very disappointed. He figured, hey, you know, I worked hard for this, and and my team just didn't come through. So he asked my brother. He says, hey, you know, there's something that I could do that I could do myself mm. and not rely on others. And that's when it all started. My brother said, well, yeah, I mean, you know, there's a sport out there. And he goes, what's that? It was boxing. And he goes, oh, okay, well, you know. So he showed him a green belt, and he goes, this is what you could win if you, you know, if you become good. He goes, oh, okay, I like that. So let's do it. And that's how it all started. <laughs> did, did you get any nerves when you first heard, like, oh, baseball? Um, there's some contact with the sliding, but when you first heard, like, all right, I'm talking to my, you know, brother, and, you know, he likes it. Did he, he came up to you and told you, or was it your brother? Or uh, my brother and I, we discussed it, and and I told him, you know what, that's a great idea. I said, as long, and I'm gonna tell the parents this too. Okay, don't be nervous. As long as you feel that your son wants it, okay. And my preference is do it at an early age because you know you have some advantages early age because you you're you're developing knowledge. And whether you win or lose in an amateur, it's okay. Don't feel that it's all over. No, it, what you did was you gained experience. And if you lost, hey, that's even better because now you know what to correct, or your trainer knows what to correct. And um, so it's okay. So my advice to parents that their kids are starting off, hey, you know what? Go ahead and start them off at an early age and watch their development. Monitor everything. I'm talking about sparring. I'm talking about their work ethics. I'm talking about who they're with, who they're hanging around with. You know, monitor that and you'll have a successful uh, boxer in front of you. And you know, when he was coming up to the amateurs, he had a great you know, amateur background. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to ignore that and, and mm-hmm. people he's been in there in the ring early as an amateur. When he when he turned professional, there was like a, a light switch that came on with his charisma and the whole Instagram, social media following. Uh, how well, did how did I knew that more I knew that earlier than anybody mm-hmm. in, in this uh, in this sport because uh, you know I'm his dad, I'm his trainer and I seen it. I seen it right away. A lot of people didn't see it, but I saw it, and I, and I told Ryan, I told my other sons too, Sean, I said, hey, you know, there's one thing you guys got to learn in life is entertainment. And they were like, what's that? that? I said, what you guys are doing is great. If you, could, if you can transition this into entertainment, I said, you guys are going to be big. I said, I already see it, you know, and they're like, oh, okay. I said, oh, uh, what do I have to do? I said, just entertain and you'll see what happens. <laughs> and look what's happened right now. <laughs> I, I I believe that you know um, uh-huh. you know the, the infamous like putting on the body suits and punching and his flashiness and the speed and <laughs> that's you know. part of all uh, that's part of uh, you know our work ethic you know we enjoy you know uh, sometimes we have to entertain you know the same thing you know but for the most part this is what we enjoy doing and that's another thing that you have to understand. If your son or daughter wants to box, you have to have the passion. The trainer has to have the passion. The father has to have the passion. The coaches, you know, the everybody in your circle has to have the passion. If you don't have the passion, it's never going to work. Trust me. And from from amateur to professional, making that transition, don't be afraid of that because the amateur is what gave you that experience to turn over into becoming a professional that's why i said try not to start them off too young as a professional unless you started young as an amateur i don't know if that makes sense no no it it definitely doesn't you know but that's how the formula is remember that there's a formula here okay start young as an amateur then you can make your transition as a professional however if you start late as a professional, sometimes not it won't always work. Your career might end quick, you know, so you might have to, you got to be careful, okay? So my advice is always start young and work your way up. And, and, uh, and obviously you have an, a, another son, Sean. What was it? Who, who wanted, was it Ryan that wanted to do it first? And then did Sean follow, did Sean or how Sean did- followed, Sean followed, yeah. And what, what's special about Sean, you know, right now he's taking a break because he's having a baby. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I love him for that, you know. And, but, you know, he's taking a break, you know, there's something that he wants to do in life. But with Sean, Sean followed Ryan, but Sean wasn't growing 
as tall as Ryan at the time. So I said, well, I have to give him an advantage. So what I did was I switched him over to southpaw. He's mm. actually a right-hander. But oh. I had to switch him over to southpaw to give him that extra edge. And that was the best thing I did because he also won like seven nationals. I mean, it was amazing. You know, and now he's tall, too. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> what, more, <laughs> what more do I want? Does, does this put stress sometimes, though, even though you guys have so much passion and confidence that when it's finally fight time, you guys get like a good anxious or you still as parents because you understand what it's like but do, is it do you still get that just that's my son in there or or is this just just fight mode you game know mode? that's a very good question the passion and the experience just wipes out the nervousness or the stress or whatever you want to call it you have to have confidence in your son or in your boxer because you know them more than anybody and having said that I every time he fights it's like I'm, I'm more calm than anybody in there because I know my son's ability and lately you've been seeing how he's been performing yeah. he's been performing like miraculously you know where it's just it's just amazing and that's because of his work ethic and all the experience that he had from the amateurs to the early pro days. I mean, it's finally catching up to him where it's like, wow, man, this, this guy is really actually good. <laughs>